Good morning, Santa Margarita. Welcome to ETV 2.0. I'm McKenna Bradley. And I'm Cassie Roquet. Today is Tuesday, November 13th, 2018. On today's show, we have announcements, a look at yesterday's athletic night, and a special interview with Coach Rayner. But first, we have a news update. A total of 16 wildfires are spanning across the state of California and are causing major destruction, taking lives and devastating wildlife. The campfire that burned through the northern California town of Paradise has become the most destructive in the state's history. More than 5,000 personnel are fighting the blaze, which has destroyed more than 6,400 homes and 260 commercial buildings. Fire officials say that the fire is now 30% contained, as the death toll has risen to 42, with another 228 remain accounted for. To the south, the Woolsey Fire is 35% contained. The fire that broke out in the Thousand Oaks area is blamed for two deaths. The Woolsey Fire is estimated to have destroyed 435 buildings and 83% of all National Park Service land in the Santa Monica Mountains National Recreation Area has been burned. During this extremely difficult time, we ask that you keep those affected in your thoughts and prayers. Now for some announcements. Since the library will be closed this Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. due to 8th grade visitation, um, there will be no longer uh, a time for students to go during passing period in both lunches. So please make sure to print out any necessary assignments before school starts tomorrow. Let's turn it over to Donnie for some more important updates. I'm Donovan and here are some announcements. The 10th annual Christmas tree fundraiser is underway. This year, please consider SMCHS when your family decides on a Christmas tree to purchase. All purchased trees will be delivered to SMCHS for you to pick up on December 8th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. All orders must be placed by November 27th at 11.59 p.m. Email activities with any questions. Attention all members of National Honor Society. The mandatory monthly meeting will be held on Thursday the 15th at 6.50 in B129. New junior members will be introduced and details of our service project will be shared. Be prompt for this important meeting. The library will be closed Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. due to 8th grade visitation. Since the library will be closed during the longer passing period in both lunches, please make sure to print any necessary assignments before school starts. Thanks, guys, and now back to the host in the studio. Thanks, Donnie, for keeping us all updated on all that's happening on campus. held their annual athletic night. It was an excellent opportunity for current and future Eagles to learn more about the great sports and opportunities here at SM. The admissions team did a great job organizing this event on hand. On hand were SM's coaches and athletes, including in the event were President Sulik and Principal Dunn. Santa Margarita plays in one of the most competitive high school leagues in the country. The Trinity, Trinity League includes Modern Day, St. John Bosco, Servite, Orange Lutheran, and J. Sarah. As we enter our winter sports season, it's a great time to come out and get involved in a sport of your choice, or to come out and support your fellow SM students on the playing field, on the court, or in the pool. Congratulations to the athletic department for such a great event, and go Eagles! The Santa Margarita basketball season is here, and the Eagles are gearing up for another great one. Our reporter, Cassidy Doyle, sat down with Coach Reinhardt to get an inside look at the upcoming season. Let's check it out. Hey guys, I'm here with Coach Reinhardt today and we're just going to discuss the upcoming basketball season. We're getting pretty excited as students. I know football season is ending, so we're right into basketball season. What's your outlook for this season? Well, it's going to be a good year. We, we have uh, some very, very talented players. Um, we have three young men that have signed with Division I schools, or will sign, um, Jake Kyman, He's going to go to UCLA. Um, he's a six foot six guard. He really shoots it. He's good. Um, and then we have Max Ogbon Polo, who's six foot eight and a guard, and he's going to USC. And then we have Shinji Lee, which everyone on camp campus I think knows him as Big Lee mm -hmm. because he's <laughs> massive, like he's big. So uh, he's going to BYU. So those are the three guys that are probably leading us. That's pretty exciting. Those are some big schools. It's definitely been cool to watch some of those players, you know, as friends, just grow as both players and people through mm -hmm. high school. It's really exciting. Yeah. Yeah, so I know the students are excited. Do you feel like the presence of the nest helps the players, the team, just to kind of get motivated during games? Well, I can tell you this. The Eagles' nest is the best to play in front of. Um, what Mr. Dewazi does, 
with uh, the game and uh, the game management of the excitement. Um, they have fog that comes out underneath and they do stuff with the lights and they do stuff with the video board. And I always bring pizzas to the Eagle's Nest. We love and that. You love the pizza, <laughs> right? And so it's been fun. And uh, the Eagle's Nest is a major portion of what we do. That's awesome to hear as fans. You know, it's nice to know that coming out and supporting the teams, they really do notice. I think that helps a lot. So we have a pretty tough off season coming up. So they're definitely going to need the support from the Nest. Do you see any positives to that, though, when we do head into league and our league play? Yeah, well, we have a tough schedule. And so with that, I think our players like to play a tough schedule. So uh, they get hyped. And then I think the fans, you want to see a good game. So um, every team that we play this year, it's going to be tough. And so you're not going to come watch a blowout. You're going to come watch another really talented team. And the Eagles Nest will like that. Awesome. Yeah, we're definitely excited for that. It's always fun to see some of that competition. So thank you for stopping in. Okay. We're all very excited for the upcoming season. All we'll right. see you at the next game. All right, thanks. Back to you guys in the studio. Super excited about the basketball season, especially the Nest. I hope to see you all there. Now it is time to wish a very happy birthday to Sydney Furman, Amy Sullivan, Catherine Bastian, Amalia Marchant, and that is all we have for you today. And before we sign off, I would like to give a huge shout out to Tatum Brackey. And also before we sign off, I'd like to invite all of you to come to the XLT, which is this Thursday at Solano. And please be there by 6.30 if you'd like to have dinner. That, on behalf of ETV 2.0, have an amazing day, Santa Margarita.